Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA predicted phenotype traits and GD match results of an Iron Age Israelite from Israel. Uh, he's got a very exotic Y DNA, I'm not sure where that's most typical uh, for modern people today. This is what he's predicted to look like with Nashakot, he's predicted to have brown color eyes, uh, either Greek or snap shape, you know, so kind of like an I think from this result we can assume he had like an average normal, just a normal shaped nose and black hair. Uh, with Ysek he's predicted to have actually pretty dark skin but uh, Snipper Free seems to disagree. According to Snipper Free he's got white skin. I depicted him with sort of an intermediate or like a light brown skin tone. Um, just to be like in the middle between these two results. Uh, he's got no blue eye haplotype 2, no blue eye haplotype 3 and no blue eye haplotype 4. Uh, most likely does have blue eye haplotype 1, so that's kind of typical for uh, Eurasians. So, um, yeah, dark eyes indeed, because no BH, BH2, no BH4 probably had dark eyes indeed. And no derived IRF4, which codes for uh, pale skin, blue eyes, red hair. It's a hunter-gatherer, European hunter-gatherer variant, which he does not have. So nothing surprising here, but what's a little bit surprising is he does not have derived TIRP1. Uh, now, most West Eurasians, like Arabs, including Arabs, North Africans, Southern Europeans, have derived variants in TIRP1, uh, which code for lighter pigmentation, lighter hair, eye skin, so it's kind of interesting that he does not have it. Not to say that this is unusual, it certainly isn't unusual, um, it's just kind of interesting. He's got this genotype in the AR gene on the X chromosome, which prevents him from going bold, very cool gene to have, especially considering that it's a guy. Uh, very relevant to him and um, in DRD2 Pro Fredentine Pro variation he was actually heterozygous which means he had one no-go learner variation he's got one uh, T here uh, interesting stuff uh, he's got the warrior genotype in Komtsval met variation which means quicker dopamine reuptake which means less dopamine in his system at all times which means problems with attention and motivation however advantages in stressful situations uh, it's a pretty typical non-European genotype to have. Uh, does not have the sociopath gene, no derived OXTR, so it's you know, a pretty typical result for any human that's not East Asian. And does not have derived EDAR, no East Asian uh, derived EDAR, no East Asian facial traits, shovel-shaped incisors, epicantic folds. And uh, does not have the European lactose persistence mutation. Well, he's not a European. That, that doesn't mean he was lactose intolerant, it just means he wasn't a European. He does not have uh, the mutation that protects against myopia, which is pretty interesting because like, it's pretty common in Arabs and Middle Eastern people. When it comes to polygenic traits, he's got a high risk score for Crohn's disease, a high risk score for Parkinson's disease, a high risk score for bipolar disorder, um, a pretty average risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, he's got a pretty average, below average risk score for type 1 diabetes. A very low risk score for type 2 diabetes, uh, a low risk score for coronary heart disease, and a average risk score for asthma. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. It's a pretty modern result, like there is no North Atlantic, no Baltic, no Siberian, no Amerindian, no Sub-Saharan. That's how you know it's um, modern West Asian rather than an ancient individual. It, it, he's got a lot of modern drift, put it this way. Uh, he's closest to Samaritans and Lebanese Christians, um, and he's actually getting more as a mixture of Samaritan plus Saudi or Samaritan plus Bedouin for the closest, uh, the, the closest mixed mode population sharing model. But that's interesting, right? Interesting that he's so close to modern Samaritans, who actually are very heavy on the CHG component. They have a lot of the CHG and Iranian Neolithic component, and um, Israelites came from Egypt, right, where there's less of this Caucasus, less West Asian. Uh, related ancestry in Egypt. This is what he scores with MZLP K16 Modern. He's scoring 44.5% Caucasian. Now, Caucasian here does not necessarily represent CHG, it represents modern Caucasus, uh, so it does have a CHG admixture to it. He is closest to Samaritans from Israel, and he's actually getting more as a mixture of Samaritans from Israel plus Sardinians or Bedouins at pretty pretty close distances, so this is an accurate representation of what he was like. This is what he scores with Harappa World, and aside from the 41% Caucasian, he is scoring 8.3% Baloch here. Baloch is a component that you can only get if you have Caucasus Hunter-Gatherer or Iranian Neolithic Admixture, so he does have Caucasus Hunter-Gatherer and Iranian Neolithic Admixture.
Uh, this is his very, very interesting result with Pan DNA LK10. Here he is scoring 28.3% uh, CHG. Now, I'm scoring 28% CHG on my uh, original file, but on my imputed file I'm scoring 26%. So he's got either the same amount of CHG as me or more CHG than, than me, and he's not even an Indo-European. I'm an Indo-European from Russia, uh, close to the Caucasus. This guy is not even an Indo-European. This guy is a Israelite from Egypt, coming from Egypt, and he's got this much CHG admixture. Because of this huge CHG admixture, he's actually getting monod as a mixture of Bedouin plus Lesgin or Bedouin plus Kumik. Uh, very interesting stuff. And uh, just to add on to this, I'm pretty sure he has more CHG admixture than anybody in Europe. I think even Greeks in Europe have um, less CHG than him. Uh, this is what he scores. He's closest to Lebanese here with the Oracle, followed by Palestinians, and he's getting monod as a mixture of uh, Libyan Jew plus Iraqi. Very funny because these are both Jews and uh, Jews are uh, Israelites so that's nothing surprising here. Jew plus Jew. Uh, this is what he's scoring with um, illustrative DNA. 38% Anatolian Neolithic, 30% Natufian hunter-gatherer and of course there is the 30% uh, combined the Gross and Caucasus hunter-gatherers in total. This is the reason he's scoring so much CHG on all these calculators. This is what he scores with uh, Ancient Eurasia K6. A lot of Ancestral North Eurasian, um, pretty much all of this is due to uh, Iranian, Neolithic and Caucasus hunter-gatherer admixture. He does not have any AHG admixture, so that's the only way this kind of A&E uh, could, could reach him in Israel. He is getting modeled as a mixture of Kypriot plus Jew from Yemen or Kypriot plus Levant Bronze Age. Interesting stuff. And this is what he scores with Gidrosia K3. Uh, very West Eurasian, but there is a little bit of Sub-Saharan African affinities. This is not legitimate Sub-Saharan African admixture. He does not have recent Sub-Saharan African admixture. It's just that the groups he descends from have some affinities to Sub-Saharan Africans. Thanks for watching my video until the end. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Also, you can download the sample in 23andMe format from link, which is in the description. By the way, another Israelite is actually coming soon. That other Israelite is also on the Illustrative DNA. Um, sample sheet.